folks. First, I would like to say to the people of the Faroe Islands, you have demonstrated wonderful to the rest of the world who has a problem with this floating circus, the cult group of Sea Shepherd, and how to handle them. What you've done so far this summer is magnificent, and other nations that have a problem with infestation from this cult group should follow your example. And you should continue with this good example by ignoring the criminal cult leader's request to have a debate with one of your whalers. Nothing good will be gained for you if you engage in a debate with this clown. But he stands to gain a lot by having a debate with one of you. Please ignore him. An American writer by the uh, name of Mark Twain, he once wrote about having a debate or a talk with a person such as the criminal cult leader. Never argue with a fool. Onlookers may not be able to tell the difference. See? <laughs> Let's get biblical too, kids. Answer not a fool according to his folly, lest you be like him yourself. There you go, an American writer in the Bible tells you all you need to know about having a debate with the criminal cult leader himself. To the good people of the Faroe Islands, God bless you. You did a magnificent job and you are doing a magnificent job in leading the way for the rest of the world to follow. Please continue to do so by ignoring this criminal's request. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be. God bless our good friends and trusted allies in the land of the rising sun, Niam Koku. Please take an example from the Faroese people. And of course, God bless the good descendants of the Vikings in the Faroe Islands who know how to handle a floating circus and all the activities that they bring with them. See ya! <laughs>